Welcome to Electron Line, and here's one more example of how to figure out the molarity of a solution. Well, in this case, what they want us to do is figure out the molarity of a 40% weight in weight solution of ethanol, which is C2H5OH, in water when the density of that liquid, of that solution, is 0.8937 grams per mole. So, what is the molarity of that solution? Well, the first thing we have to understand is what this really means. So we have a solution that has both ethanol and water in it, and they tell us that 40% of the mass, or 40% of the weight, I know we use weight, but really what we're measuring, of course, is mass, um, would be, what would be the percentage of the total weight in ethanol? Well, that's 40%. So let's say that we have a solution, and some of it is ethanol, so we have 40% is ethanol, that's C2H5OH, and that means the other 60% would be water, and that is by mass or by weight, right? So by weight. Okay, secondly, they give us a density. They tell us that the density is 0.8937 grams per milliliter, and we use the letter, well, we can use D for density. Density, therefore, is equal to 800 and 93.7 grams per liter. Now that's an important number. If we didn't have the density of the liquid, we couldn't figure out the problem. Now also realizing that molarity is in terms of moles of the solute per liter of solution. And we just saw that the density is 893.7 grams per liter. So we already have the density in terms of per liter, which is also something we're gonna need for molarity. So there's some similarity there. Secondly, we can then assume that if we have one liter of the solution, we'll have this many grams of the, of the uh, solution. So if we have one liter, we have this many grams of solution, and 40% of that must be ethanol. That means 40% of this number will be ethanol in a liter of the solution, and that's where we start. So we realize that we're going to need moles per liter, and we start out with the density. The density is grams per liter. So then we have to convert from grams to moles, also realizing that this is not the mass of the ethanol. This is the mass of the total solution. So we have to take 40% of that mass to come up with the mass of the solute, the mass of the ethanol. So we can write that the density is equal to 893.7 grams per liter. That would be for the solution, but the density of the ethanol, the C2H5OH, we're going to have to multiply this by 40%. So now we have the density of the ethanol per liter, the number of grams per liter of ethanol versus the number of grams per liter of the total solution. So now we have to convert that to the, um, to the molarity. So now we can say molarity is equal to the density divided by the mass per mole. Because if we divide it by the mass per mole, if we divide by the mass, the grams will disappear and divide by one over moles, and maybe I'll just write moles, that's easier to see there. Then if you divide by one over mole, that mole unit goes to the top, it'll have moles in the numerator, it will end up with moles per liter. So the density here is equal to 893.7 grams per liter. We have to multiply the times 40% because we only want the ethanol, we don't want the water, and then we're going to divide by the molar mass of the ethanol. All right, what's the molar mass of ethanol? Well, since we have two carbons and each carbon has a mass of 12 grams, so it would be two times 12 grams, plus five times the molar mass of hydrogen, which is five times one gram, plus the mass of oxygen, which is uh, one, time, one times 16 grams, then we have another hydrogen would be plus one times uh, one gram. So we add all that together, we have 24, 29, 30, 46 grams for the molar mass of ethanol. So this is divided by 46 grams per mole. Notice that the grams cancel out, we'll end up with moles per liter, and with a calculator, we'll be able to figure out what that is. 893.7 times 0.4, because we only have ethanol, not the total solution, divide by 46, and we end up with 7.77, whoop, forgot my equal sign, equals 7.77 moles per liter, and of course that was the units of molarity. So therefore, if we have a solution 
that is 40% weight in weight of ethanol to, to the total solution in water when the density is 0.8937 grams per, per milliliters, the molarity of that solution is equal to 7.77 moles per liter. And that's what it is. If you have one liter of that solution, 7.77 moles of ethanol will be within it. And that's how you do that.